everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to use mesh standard material in 3js so let's get started so first of all i will show you the output so this is the output as you can see i am wrapping some texture around this meshes uh, so the torus spear as well as the plane mesh so let's see how to do this so i have created one basic project using wheat so i have just run this command and it created and I have selected the vanilla HTML CSS and TypeScript template. Uh, so here I have created this project. Inside package.json I have installed two dependency. First is the three dependency for 3JS. And inside dev dependency I have added at the rate type slash three. So it has uh, TypeScript support. Uh, next inside index.html I have added the canvas tag. So the ID is canvas, style is uh, position fixed, top and left is zero and outline is none. Uh, inside and here we are also like referencing our typescript file next inside main.ts so these are all the imports if you want you can just copy paste all these imports uh, we are first getting hold of our canvas uh, then we are creating one texture loader and if you see my public folder it has one uh, texture called door color dot jpg so uh, you can uh, like uh, search for this on google or if you want you can use some other texture as well uh, that's not really the point of this tutorial uh, so here we are just loading that particular texture then i have created one scene i have created a mesh standard material to apply this particular texture we have to use the map property and here i have assigned some metalness as well as roughness to it then i have created three mesh spear plane and torus i have added them to the scene now for this mesh standard material to be visible we have to make use of ambient light or as and point light or any kind of light because they are not directly visible so here i have used ambient light this is the color of it and this is the intensity same for point light as well then i have set the position of our point light and then i have added both ambient light and point light to our scene then inside sizes we are occupying the entire width and height of the screen and then i have defined one perspective camera i have set the position of it added it to our scene then orbit controls is just for rotating and translating if you don't want it you can ignore it then here i have created one webgl renderer i have set the size for it as well and on resize we are just updating our camera as well as the renderer and on double click we are just uh, exiting or entering the full screen mode here i have created one clock as well and inside a tick we just get the elapsed time uh, and here as you can see we are just rotating the spear plane as well as the torus and all we have to do over here is called control shot update and here we have to do renderer dot render and inside request animation frame we want to run it for every frame per second that's why i just uh, call the tick function uh, so yeah so the important part is this is how you can use the mesh standard material and you would require lights to display the mesh standard material. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.